Hello and welcome back. All right, so last time what we did was we created uh, the sign up class and actually managed to sign up a user. And now we redirected that user. Let me simply load this into my uh, text editor. Uh, make sure that uh, Zamp and Apache uh, Apache and MySQL, sorry, are running in your uh, server. All right, so what we did is we managed to sign up a user and redirect that user. Let me enlarge this a little bit. Okay. And we redirected that user to the profile page. However, I think uh, the most appropriate thing to do is to redirect the user to the login page so that they can log in. Now we have a login page right here, login.php. So that's where we should redirect our user for now. So I'll change this one to login.php. So this is in the signup.php page. As you remember, there are classes here for every page here. We'll create a class to handle requests, uh, the PHP requests in there. So the file I'm editing right now is the signup.php page. And this is the part where we're redirecting after everything happens. So now that we have this, we have to deal with the login page now. So most of this is going to translate exactly into the login page. The only difference is uh, going to be that we'll be using a very different class for the login system. However, everything here remains the same okay most of it is going to remain the same so what i'm going to do is go here and copy the entire php uh, sequence here up to where it ends there Control c and then i'm going to go back here and load my login page just drag it into my text editor all right so right at the top here please don't leave any spaces there and just hit paste Okay, so now let's go in and change a few things here. So make sure there's no space here. So we are including a class called sign up first the connect class, which we need to connect to the database. And then we're including the sign up uh, dot PHP inside classes. However, here we're going to need to create a new uh, file called login dot PHP. So let's change that. Now this login dot <clears throat> excuse me this login.php is going to be inside classes because it's going to contain a class for the login okay so what we need in here if i go to the file itself and load it into my browser so let me grab the login page and just drag it to my browser here okay there we go so if you happen to see this uh, php code it means your uh, server is not running so i'm going to simply edit this part here to localhost so it has to be localhost the folder and the file all right so now we have a warning here because this file does not exist the login.php inside classes so let me simply go inside there and add one file which will be the signup.php. So I can do that using my uh, text editor by saying new file. And then I'm just going to add uh, some PHP tags there and save that. So I'm going to save that inside classes and name it login.php because it's the class for the login page. So let me save that in classes, All right? And we shouldn't have that error anymore here. All right, there we go. So during the login, what we need is the email and the password. So those are the two fields that we're going to have. So if I go in to the login.php page, the one that has the HTML, I need to convert this. Since we've changed that, I need to change this to email. And then uh, I change this to password because these are the only two things we're going to need. And then I can simply delete the rest like so. And this part remains exactly the same because we are still checking for the post button. We are still checking if the user hits the post button so that we can react to that. Okay. 
and let me simply change this part as well remove these two okay i actually need email so i'm going to leave email and i will change the other one to password so let me change that to password like that okay so as we did last time these variables are responsible for retaining the values that we want in here in case the user uh, was not allowed however we don't want to uh, actually we can leave the password i think that's okay because this is a login session so that's fine so here we're going to change all this because we're going to create a new um, a new class instead of sign up it's going to be login capital l like that and i'll change this one as well to login and the other one so i'm going to call it login is equal to new uh, login the class so we've converted this into a class and then we are simply going to evaluate now we can't use this evaluate because we haven't created the class yet so we don't know what methods this class is going to have so for now uh let me convert this instead of uh, evaluate this one we could simply name it uh, login or execute or whatever it is as long as we remember to add that function when creating the class so here i'm going to convert this to something like uh, uh, login check it could be check it could be um we could use any word here i might just leave the evaluate i think that's fine that describes the action properly so maybe let's just leave that there we're we're still passing in the data that the user has sent so we'll leave that as well and then we will check here uh, if there are any errors in the result if the result is not empty meaning there was an error and then we're going to echo that here so i think everything here remains relevant and then we can uh, now here is where we redirect to the profile after the user has successfully logged in and we leave everything else as is only that we need to add these variables down here to replace um, to replace any values in case the user doesn't get it the first time they don't need to retype their email address again so let me add value in here i'm going to say value is equal to and then i'm going to put email in there now since this is html i have to add my php tags so that it can be echoed as php so i'll say echo and then close the php tag right there so echo email something like that so i can copy this again and paste it over here so in here instead of email we're going to echo the password oh sorry password something like that all right so this does it for the login page all we have to do now is actually create the login class itself because if we try to run this right now we're going to get some errors because this method right here does not exist and we need to create that so in order to create that we're going to do that in there in the login php that is inside classes all right so i'll see you in the next video where we actually create that class because it's going to be a bit of a long video and i don't want this particular video to be that long so i'll see you in the next video